Oh hey there guys, this is, this is Mo Hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game. We are in the fighting club. We've defeated these three losers. We've summoned them here, and now Mitch wants to duel Mitch Mitch wants to duel us. And I'm kind of afraid because this is one of those duels that gave me trouble back when I was a kid. Like back when I was a kid, this was definitely the last club I defeated. So I have my Mind Crush deck here. You know, actually, let me just check. I should definitely get rid of, rid of these. Like, why are these here? These should not be here. The fighting Pokemon just cream them. We'll just kill them. Why are they here? Why are they exposed to my beautiful? I mean, not. What am I talking about anymore? I don't know. Uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Uh, I don't find these useful, but I find Spearows to be useful. Ooh, ah, ah. Maybe I can add some more... Do I have any more psychic Pokemon I can add here? Hmm. I should have more of you. Except... Yeah, I'm kind of iffy about the fact that I have to use this Haunter. Like, like I said, I'm not a big fan of this Haunter. Even though, the thing is, like, this Ghastly is cool and this Haunter is cool, except there's no boost in HP. They have the same HP and the same level. Like, lol. Like, the guy who made these cards must have, you know, done this on purpose. Like, lol, I'll troll these people, lol. I don't have a Hypno? Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. It's kind of sad, and I don't have that other Mewtwo, but it's alright. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I hate that stupid song. Bye, you two, bye, you two, you two. You two's no longer good. You two used to be good. But then it kind of got... I guess it kind of lost their purpose a little bit. Just a little bit of music commentary. Brought to you by Mayo Hello. Yay. Actually, I should just focus on... Energy removals. Because I like this... I don't know, like, you kind of notice how my strategy kind of revolves around energy removals. Like, I like screwing people over. Because... People have screwed me over way too many times in the past, so I want to give them revenge. <laughs> so, you have defeated all my pupils. Let's see if you have what it takes to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Okay, are you ready? I'm not I'm not ready, but let's go. Fighting Club Master Bitch. First strike strike deck. And somehow there's a boxing ring behind him. Oh my god, I am not ready for this. I am so nervous. Uh, this is a bad start. Bad start. Okay, I'm gonna chance it and play Mew. Because chances are he's gonna start with the Mr. Mime. I mean, not Mr. Mime, a uh, Machop. So, Mr. Mime is not in the best condition to start, you know, be the first Pokemon, considering how, you know, Mr. Mime's um, invisible wall is like negated by the fact that Machop only has low kick. So, yeah. I am very afraid of this man named Mitch. Bitch. At least, at least we paralyzed. At least we got Geico. At least we got DiGiorno. At least we got McDonald's. I am being random all of a sudden. Maybe that helps me out in, in the long run. So I think this fear will be a very good asset to me. Also, this energy removal. <laughs> Good, considering how Mew failed to paralyze the mid top. Great job, coin toss. Great job. Oh, cool. You've kind of accepted the fact that your mid top is screwed. Yay! Your mid top is screwed. Yay! Let's continue screwing mid chops. Let's continue screwing mid chops. Because that's what I like to do. I kind of noticed. You know how um, these. Clubmaster duels have six prizes, six prizes, and as a result, these duels can potentially be shorter because you have less cards in your deck to draw. But then again, there's also like the fact that you know other duels have four prizes. I don't know what I'm talking about. You kind of get what I was trying to say, though, right? The fact that um, oh god, ow, wow, another energy removal. How about that? But yeah, I kind of didn't like that. Um, Dude. So I'm gonna chance it first of all, and then if Mew dies, so be it. And then I'm gonna you know throw out Firo. 
because Fero is pretty reliable considering how you have only fighting Pokemon and Fero is pretty resistant to your shenanigans. But enough of that. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, except, you know, you kind of forgot about the fact that you need energy cards and I screwed you over with energy removals. I like screwing people over. <laughs> I'm kind of used to the fact that I'm being weird in my commentary, so don't be alarmed if I'm being weird because I'm being alarmed myself and then like, Ooh, Mewtwo! Hello, Mewtwo! 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 Hmm, who should I arm? The thing is... Oh. Oh, oh no, 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 that's my... That's his discard pile. My discard pile just has bills and energy removals and... Wow, that kind of sounds like bills and, you know, energy bills. Like, that's going to be what your trash consists of in real life. Bills, 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 and bills. Mostly related to energy. Isn't the real world depressing, kids? I kind of wonder, why did he evolve his... Oh yeah, he kind of evolved his Machop just so he can drag this on longer because... I just remembered, Machoke can't hit Mew at all because of Mew's you know, neutralizing shield. So, joke's on you! Ha ha ha! I like how I'm not arming Mr. Mime at all. I'm kind of accepting the fact that Mr. Mime not, might not be that useful in this duel. I've got, a mean, I got, I've got a feeling that Mew is gonna die, because... Um, yeah, you're gonna send him a chop, aren't you? And you have a... yeah. 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 That's great. That's great, guys. That's great. Yeah. Perfect. Terrific. That's on a Fero. Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't want to risk having a Hitmonlee kicking my Pokemon left and right. A kick, kick, kick. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Hmm. What do I have in my discard pile? One Psychic Energy. Whereas Mewtwo is like, yeah, that's his, you know, ability. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to save these cards, so let's just do agility. Yay! Even though I can't get damage anyway from a chop. Yay! I'm kind of worried about how he's going to arm his Hitmonlee. Yeah, Hitmonlee is going to kick my ass. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. No. Alright, Fear, just continue bulking up. And then, on your next turn, get ahead. So that you don't get your ass kicked by Hitmonlee's... Um... Attack. I jump kick. Very signature. Of Yay, you get an agility! Now Hitman is gonna do a, a stretch kick and kick my Pokemon's ass anyway. Isn't stretch kick great? It's gonna do stretch stretch kick. Watch! Yeah, he's gonna choose one of my bench Pokemon and he's gonna aim for Mr. Mime. Yep. Mr. Mime is screwed. Unless um hee <laughs> hee Let's arm Kadabra. Because Kadabra can kick some ass. He can kick ass, alright. Hmm, I wish it was... Alright, I have a plan. I have a plan. If it works out, then this duel's gonna end in one turn. Okay? Just bear with me. Okay. I have a plan. This is my plan. Oh, hello, Mew. My plan is... Well, first of all. Alright. So my plan going... Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. Let's discard a pile. Let's... I mean, let's discard a card. I don't need... Actually, I don't need you. Uh, okay, it's just one psychic energy, but it's okay. Kadabra's ready. Fira has no retreat cost? What? Oh my god, you're amazing, Fira. I love you. And now, Sai... Kadabra's gonna kill you with Super Sai. Get your ass kicked and raped. Have <laughs> mine crushed, bitch. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> look at bitch. I mean, look at me. She's like, mmm. My last like, mmm. Wonderful. Great match. You're very good. Yeah. Take this. It's the fighting medal. I'm constipated. You'll find a secret in your decks of this clubbing anchors in the night. Mm. Yes. 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 <laughs> we get the fighting medal and we get all of the medals. Yes. Yeah. Take this too. It's a laboratory. Laboratory. Who's the back? Alright, a laboratory. Let's see if we have any... Well, so I got this Magneton off-screen. 
So this is the I think this is one of the magnetrons that I was missing. It's like the other magneton. I don't find it as useful, but its self-destruct is amazingly powerful. Too amazingly powerful. Let's see what this baby has. Ooh, Venomoth! Hey! Hello! Why is my voice going on like this? So shift is interesting. You can change the type of Venomoth to any other type. Besides colorless. And then there's Venom Powder, which is like me. So basically, Venomoth can be anybody's weakness. So that's interesting there. Huh? 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 I'm just making sure I'm recording. Okay, good, I'm recording. Cause this is a very momentous occasion, considering how I just kicked Lich's ass. Alright, let me save. Alright. Now I have all medals. So now I'm ready to kick some ass and kick some tail and eat some bubblegum. Yeah! Let's see, do you have anything for me, Mr. Dr. Mason? You're finally gonna be doing the Grandmaster. Oh, she's gonna be talking about the first Grandmaster. Grandmaster Courtney uses the legendary Moltres, so a deck should be made up of fire Pokemon. Be sure to use water Pokemon, since water Pokemon are the weakness of fire Pokemon. I don't know why Dr. Mason all of a sudden has an oxen, and I don't know why I'm referring to myself in the third person. But other than, than that, just watch how your opponent plays and choose your strategy accordingly. Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason, wink, yes, you're almost there. Keep, keep up the good walk. Yay, a Colosseum deck full of cards I already have. Yay. I mean, I guess I could use more of these, but yeah, that was stupid. Hello, dude. What do you want? Hmm, Parasect. Uh, let me see here. How many Parasects do I have? By the way, off screen, I gave him a Graveler because he wanted one of my Gravelers. So I gave him a Graveler. Let me just check how many Parasects. I have enough. Because I'm just cheap like that. Okay, so. Yeah. Nothing. Fine. So, yeah, that's all eight clubs. That was fast. Surprisingly fast. How many lapras do I have? Not enough. I mean, chances are I'll be dueling other people off screen just so I can grind some cards because I want to grind some cards and make some decks for the Grand Masters, but that's for another time. Next video. So other than, other than that, there's not going to be a challenge cup at the challenge hall ever again until you beat the game, so don't worry about that. Imakuni is going to be around the clubs. Like I usually, I, usually, I usually tend to find Imakuni at the lightning club, the fighting club, the water club, and the science club, and the psychic club. That's where I tend to find I Imakuni. He's there pretty, not, you know, it's like... It's like, without fail, he'll appear, he'll appear in like one of those five clubs. People say he appears in like, all clubs randomly, but I personally believe he appears in five clubs. And those are the only five clubs I've went been to, and you know, that's where I found Imakuni, all the time. Trust me, it's my experience right now, and experience as a kid. I know this shit. I know this game well. A bit too well sometimes. Man. So yeah, Venomoth was part of this thing. Was the other Magneton? Yes, it was a part of this card. I mean, thing. Booster pack. So yeah, there's not much else to do because I kind of want to prepare off screen and then take care of the Grandmasters in the next video, but at least we can turn these on since I haven't done them at all. Like, hmm, you mean I can already make these? I mean, I already have the cards, but hmm. Okay. Oh, I see, that's why. So I can't make these decks because, let's face it, I have 1994 cards. 1994, that was when I was three. That was... I don't remember back when I was three. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I have all the materials needed to make these decks. Okay. Except I did like, you know, dismantle some cards from my actual decks. But I kind of find that I like making my own decks just because it's easier and it's more you know, um, accessible, and just, you know, it's more custom, so that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, that's what I've done. Make my own decks. Something I kind of realized more recently. If I realized this more back when I was a kid, you know, that I could make my own decks from scratch, then I would have had an easier time with this game, but no. No, this game took me forever, almost, to beat, because I was stupid. That's how, that's why I had so much trouble with the fighting club. So yeah, that's that. You may notice that the science, I think like the science um, decks and like 
the psychic decks kind of have a bunch of access because they require Mewtwo, like this Mewtwo. This I hate this Mewtwo. I hate this Mewtwo. Because this Mewtwo is needed in many decks, but it's so freaking rare. It only appears in the laboratory booster packs, and you never get them in the laboratory booster packs. It's like Urgh. So frustrating. I should save some of my decks that I've made. Come to me I should save Mind Crush. Why didn't I do that before? And just screw you. Alright, so. Yeah! Not much else to do but prepare, I guess. Yeah! Why is my voice cracking? So yeah, I'll be preparing and then the next video. We shall be taking on the legendary grandmasters so that we can get the legendary cards. I don't know why I'm singing Superman, but see you guys in the next video. Okay, I'll stop. See you guys in the, in the next video. Bye.